Forum. Here we are, High Point, North Carolina. My name is Chuck Klepchak, and we just want to say how much we missed everybody this past April. We've done a lot of new and exciting things at Daniel's Amish, so we just wanted to bring that to your attention. Some of you are already aware of it, but I'm really, really excited. So we're just going to do a little quick preview of the showroom. So first of all, by the way, thank you so much for your business. It's nice to know that you've been buying from Daniel's Amish, and you all know we're in Kilbuck, Ohio, five miles below Millersburg. I'm from Ohio, so that's why I'm here to help you. So let's start with Lewiston. Everybody's familiar with the group. It's done fantastic. Most of us have put it in a distressed sandalwood, and it's done extremely well. And last year, the last market, October, we introduced Coco for those that want to give it a brighter, more fresher look for the floor. So with that being said, let's talk about finishes. I want to introduce everybody to Shannon Delaney. This is Shannon. He is in charge of our marketing. So I want to thank Shannon for coming up with all these new finishes. Shannon, let's talk about a distressed gray first. I think that's real important. Absolutely. Um, you know, each market we listen to all of you and we, we find out what we're missing, what's hot, and you guide us as well as we work with some of the best stain experts in America to get these finishes. So I want to thank you, first of all, for all your suggestions you give us. Um, let me introduce you to Fog. And Fog is a beautiful painted finish on maple. It comes in distressed and a non-distressed finish. Uh, which is called mist, by the way. And we're all familiar how that works. And you're familiar with what we have. Oh, we have a pearl white and we also have a linen white. Well, these are the gray versions of those. Uh, they're going to be looking beautiful on dining and bedroom. And as we walk through the showroom today with Chuck, uh, we'll be making suggestions and, and continually bringing these new stains up to broaden your scope of business. You should have received the stains in the mail at this point. Um, we wanted to make sure you have the tools to get sales immediately when you start opening up. And this is what we felt we could introduce quickly to bring up your sales and recover from this past couple months. I think when you said new finishes, I received my boxes from my customers and inside that, well, they're going to see the new blue. Correct. Uh, this is basically Dara, but now on Cherry. Yes. Correct. Beautiful shit. This is brand new. This is Autumn. autumn so we're going to be cherry. showing them Autumn very shortly. And now, you can let that one go. This is a new gray that's going to be on the oak steel, if I'm correct. It's called steel. Right. Oak. And then this is a new gray, and this is going to be called frost. Correct. That's also on oak. And then, we just saw the distressed version. This will be the non-distressed version of the maple, and we're going to call that mist. So they're going to receive in the mail one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new finishes. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to go to a new bedroom called Autumn. This is our new Highland collection. So we actually put it in a new finish also. And we just talked about that a minute ago. So it's Highland collection in an Autumn finish on a cherry species of wood. So we picked up a little on a waterfall front. We got a break front dresser. I think this is real important going forward. We're going to be doing beveling on all of our mirrors. We got a lot of requests for it. it. Gives a little classier look. We all know that. So look at the way the headboard correlates that waterfall front along with the break front dresser. And then as you can see, we captured that on the headboard also. So just as a refresher, please remember all of our beds are available in Twin, Full, Queen, King, and California King. It'll be the same program as all the other collections with the multiple dressers, multiple chests, and all the availability for the under storage pieces. So that is our Highland Collection in autumn finish on cherry wood, and we'll look forward to this being out in the field. Thank you. Let's go to the Carolina Collection. Okay. So now I'm at the Carolina collection. This was introduced this past October market. And there's not a doubt in my mind when somebody sees a white bedroom, they say in their head, kind of coastal looking. So we want to give you a little more options on this group. And that's why I'm going to emphasize this. Not only did it do well in the coastal areas, but now let's go to the next level. This is real important because at this market, we introduced two 
toning on all of our cases. So what's that mean? We can put oak, maple, or cherry anywhere on this case, top one color, base the second color. No extra charge, unless of course they use paint. Paint's always a 10% off. We can even put paint on the tops of these. So look at the difference of the look here, and now I would put Dara on top of Pearl. I took that bullnose hardware and I put the dark finish on it, and I have a completely different look than what you would have seen at this past market. So now I went one step further. For a more traditional or a more Midwest account, I went and put the cider, which was also a new finish last October, and I put that on maple, and I introduced a new bow front bed. So when you look at the shaping of the bow front bed, it correlates with the shaping of the bow front footboard, and as you can see, I have the bow front dresser. So that same white Carolina group you just saw, now I bring a different bed into play, put a different wood species on, put a different color on it, I have a completely different group. So I think that's important. Two things that I brought up at this, at this particular collection. The two-toning, which you'll see more of, and of course the new bed, and now the opportunity to go after additional market share. All right, thank you. We're going to go to the carriage collection now. Typically, when you come into market and we introduce something to market before, you might only have 60 days of retail underneath your belt. So that's why it's important for me to review the carriage collection. Carriage was introduced in October. We did it in a color called Stockton, which has been in the line. And one of the reasons why I want to review this again is not only because typically it's, it's, it's new, number one, but I want you to see what happens when you put other finishes on it. So I go from a traditional group, and you can see the hardware. Now I brought it in a color called Bramble, and I put it in contemporary hardware. And then we're all familiar with Michaels, and look at the traditional hardware here. So this is real important because I've had this work so well for me. If you have the room on your floor and you show the three different looks, you have no idea what it does to the consumer. It realizes that they are creating. We can put plenty of five piece import groups, but now we're made in America and we're showing them right in front of them how quickly they can design their bedroom to meet their needs by just changing the color and the hardware. So I've already experimented with this with another group called Simplicity, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I actually went from a very cheery, traditional, transitional to a very contemporary, and it was amazing how the numbers just flew because I was able to floor it both ways. So that's very important. So we are going to leave the carriage, and we are now going to go over to the treasure collection. There's a reason why I stopped at the Treasures collection. Not to go over Treasure, but two things I want to do right now. One is to show you two-tone. So again, I just took a briar oak and I put it right on top of a pearl, maple, and you can see the look that we're creating. But I also wanted to stop here because of the success that we're having in the cloth upholstered beds. So please keep that in mind. I have the single panel, I have multi-panel, and what I added here was the panel that upholstered on the footboard, okay? So for those that need to be uh, refreshed, in alternate beds at the beginning of the catalog, this is really the Concord bed, which is our starter, and then you also have the Manchester, which gives you the beveled edge. So you have two beds at the beginning of the catalog, starting bed prices, Concord Manchester with or without the upholstered panel bed, and now you have a matching footboard. That's all I want to touch base on treasure. We're going to go over to the cottage collection now. The reason why I stopped at the cottage collection, because earlier we were talking about the Carolina when you saw it in the pure white finish. This you also saw in white, 
and I know my territory, by the way, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, it's not the most coastal area in the world. So when I go and I put a finish like Miles, which is maple, and I do it on this lubered shuttered bed, I kind of all of a sudden have a, not so much masculine, but I definitely pulled beachy out of it, and now I'm more Midwest, all because I changed the finish. So don't overlook a bedroom group without taking advantage of us putting stuff in different wood in different colors. Again, I've had accounts that take nightstands and they pyramid them and on the nightstands every one of them has a different wood species, a different color and a different hardware because we don't want the consumers to walk away from a group because they can't visualize in their head how much different it's going to look when we change that and that at the Amish plant we have the opportunity to do that for you. So let's go over to the modern class. Now, there's a reason why I stopped at the modern collection. Last October market, we introduced a new bed. So basically, by taking out that little bit of wood, we gave it a completely different contemporary look. And what we did was, with the suggestion of some of our customers, we correlated that with the taking out on the mirror also. So all of a sudden, we did a low dresser with two twin mirrors it gives you a completely different look than anything else that you have on your floor. And now that we're two-toning, you can get real creative. In fact, I even have customers that will take the footboard, make this the headboard, put the low-profile footboard, so now I can show two different beds on the floor in two different colors and have a variable pieces and do a couple two-tones that's creating a really hot look. Made in America. All right, let's go talk about Distressed. So now I'm stopping at the Bryson Collection. You're familiar with it because the Wildwood and Lewiston, all three are Distressed. So I want to point out the two-toning on Distress. I did a Terracini color on the top. I did a linen on the base. I am finding out that people who are taking multiple pieces from the three collections, they're all working together. So I want to show you another alternate bed. So here I did the Blue Ridge. So I want you to see what it looks like in linen. Then I want you to come over and see what it looks like here where I do it in the cherry. So this gives it a very rich traditional, an old museum, and that gives you a beachy look when you're looking at it in linen. Now, I two-tone, I sell so much of the sandalwood, so we're gonna get you a closer shot of the sandalwood with linen. Here, I put Colin, which you really might not be able to see it so well on the film, but it's a charcoal cherry over old museum. So basically, I have a new bed, and I'm showing you multiple finishes. And I'm asking you to do that in your showroom. I think at this time, we're gonna go over to dining room. Thank you for looking at bedrooms today. Okay, welcome again. We touched base on bedroom, so now we're gonna go over some Daniel's dining room. We'll touch base on new and new finishes, and of course, new looks, which are easy to create with Daniel's Amish. So here, I have a new chair. It's called the Dublin. I put it on oak, which is briarwood. I have an X base that you can see, makes it extremely unique. And something else I'm gonna be adding to your catalogs, and your updates will be to you in mid-July, and that's a reverse bevel. So at reverse bevel, new x back base, new Dublin chair. That's here, let's go over and look at the Harper. Okay, so I'm standing over a standard 4260 table, and by the way, Page four, I have salesmen go to page four a lot. And as a refresher that salespeople forget, is that's the only page that I can actually cut tables down. So that I want to stress, because that means if a customer comes in and wants a 40 by 70, you just go to the next size up, 4272, charge them for 4272, mark 40 by 70 on the, on the invoice, and we will cut that table down. No extra charge. So that's important that you realize that's the page to customize. I also wanted to let you see the new finish, which is Autumn. Autumn is on Cherry. And you've had the Harper chair in the line, but I just wanted to show you a different look. So not only do we have a new finish, which is Autumn, 
I want to make sure you are aware of page four. Let's go over to the Miller table. Typically as a buyer coming to High Point, everybody wants to know what's new. And I kind of stop at different groups for different reasons, but the Miller table is new. So I want to focus on the base, but I also want to bring to your attention is the actual Sarasota chair. Because we have over 50 chairs in line, my number one question I get from salespeople is how does that sit? This is one of my favorites. I love the way this Sarasota chair sits. So basically I'm just showing you a new base called Miller. Uh, you can see I did this on Cherry. The finish is Bramble and the chairs outsell. They're in my top five. Let's go over to Cambridge. In spring of 2019, we introduced the Cambridge and the Ozark. Cambridge is a limited table, but a great seller because oak, maple, and cherry is the same price. So I just want you to see two-tone Ozark chair, Cambridge table. Uh, this is Dara that I put on top of it with a pearl chair. And, and please notice um, we have some umbrella fabrics, like 350. So I think that's important that everybody has a fabric chair on their floor. So again, Cambridge table, available in oak, maple, cherry, same price, limited on sizes, but a very popular table, great price point. Let's go over to the Sierra chair. Okay, so again, I'm standing over top of a Sierra chair that's been in line. Boat shapes have been in line. Millsdale base has been in line. The finished cider was new at October. So I love the way it looks made up on a boat table. So again, we're just refreshing what unique chairs look like, one of my favorites, along with a boat top, cider finish, with the base that we've been had in the line, and now we're gonna go over to the Franklin. I'm standing over the Franklin table, a huge success for our company because now we're getting very simple. Meaning, I can offer this to you in three species of wood, in three legs, with the three chairs, Revere, Pilgrim, and Hanover, and do it all at the same price. That's simplicity at its best. So you're looking at it in driftwood, but again, oak, maple, cherry, same price. Three sizes, three legs, three species of wood. Let's go talk about the farmhouse table. I highly recommend the farmhouse for every floor. It just says Amish written all over it. It says made in the USA all over it. It says made in America all over it. And why? I also love to put the Buckeye chair with it. It's probably our widest, largest chair in the line. This one and the Bozeman I'm about to show you. I also wanted to point out leather. I think that's important. So not only am I showing you a two-tone look, not only only showing you the farmhouse table, a Buckeye chair, a leather, but there's one more thing. My successful retailers have found a way to put the 24-inch matching counter chair, stationary and swivel, next to the buffet or china cabinet. So now the consumer who has those beautiful granite tops in their kitchen don't no longer have to wonder what it would look like to put six or eight or 10 or 12 additional counter high chairs. So keep that in mind, it's a good chair to use for that purpose. Okay, let's go to Bozeman. Okay, so I'm standing over a Westchester table. Every one of you have seen it. I'm standing over a Bozeman chair. Every one of you have seen it. I just wanna point out that to me, on my floors, this is a great statement. You could go up to 108 inches with this table. A solid 108 inch table. It's really impressive looking when you put my number one selling table with my best selling chair if you want to show a statement. And this truly does. Okay, so we're gonna leave Bozeman. We're gonna go over to a brand new chair called Valley. Okay, so I do have a new chair here. It's called the Valley chair. Um, how about we call it a modern arrow back chair? Spearback chair. Uh, with that being said, I also have a new premium leg here. So I kind of made it a little more casual, contemporary. I can visualize it with fabric on it. 
But I think with these looks in your gallery, you're allowing your consumer to realize it's not Amish oak. It turns into very contemporary-ish, modern, everyday colors that really work well in the kitchen. So that's important. Premium leg, two-tone, new chair. Now we're gonna go over to our reclaimed barn wood. Let's go talk about that. Okay, so now we're at our reclaimed barn wood dinette tables. For those of you who have not tried this program, the success has been tremendous. And now what's happening is, is there's a story. Customers love a story. You start talking about these barns that have been around for over a hundred years and you start talking about an oak tree that was 150 years before that. We just came up with 250 years. I've got oak trees that have been around since the Revolutionary War. So with that being said, I love the idea of two-toning these because if you just have that one barn wood look, I think you only get a certain customer. So walk with me and see what happens when I throw a little pearl white on it. Doesn't that give it a whole different look? I'd like to see the white bench with it and maybe even different colored chairs. Now walk with me and see it in blue. So to me, now I have a completely different look. I've got a pearl white chair, I've got the reclaimed top, and I went and put the new blue, popular blue base on it. So look at how I went from reclaimed to reclaimed modern, if that makes sense. So again, that program has multiple sizes, two different buffets, and also has uh, two different benches with it, uh, five different chairs. So I think it's important that you consider reclaimed part of your floor. Let's go talk about a new buffet that we just came up with. We came out with a new buffet, and the reason why I want to point it out, everybody wants to know it's new, is because this piece right here should be a staple on your floor. And the reason why I say that is because we're going to offer it as two door, four door as you see, and then we'll do it as a six door. The key here is we will also do all seven edges that are in the dining room catalog. So you will have a buffet in your home with two, four, or six doors. You'll have it with all seven edges. You'll be able to do it with any species of wood. And oak, maple, and cherry will be the same price. And yes, you'll also be able to do it in distressed. So I think that's an important piece. And we're going to hit a hot price point. So we look forward to that being on your floor. With that being said, thank you so much for taking the time to see this video of Daniel's Amish Showroom, what we couldn't show you in April. We look so forward to seeing you in October. Thank you so much for your business and have a wonderful day.